is a 1937 Bugatti 57S. The S is really significant in the fact that it stands for Sorbash, which is French for lowered. This car has a lowered suspension that's approximately four to five inches lower than a typical 57. Uh, they do that by the front axle dropping, which is a hot rod trick, but they did it on this car for, at, in France with Bugatti. But in the back of the car, what they did is they took the frame rail and they made it taller and they cut a hole in it. The axle runs right through the center of the frame and that allows the whole suspension to ride lower on the car. The other thing that you notice in a 57S is the frame rail runs along the side and the foot well drops down below the height of the frame rail. So you end up with extremely small pedal position because of this lowered suspension and lowered body. The other thing on this car, <clears throat> the 57s, you, see, you hear about the 57SC. The C is for compressor, which means supercharger. There were only two cars that had factory superchargers. The rest of them that are claimed to be SCs, the supercharger was added after the fact. This is one of those cars. The supercharger was actually added at the dealership, um, but it was in period. So it was done when this car was relatively new. And here you can see the root style supercharger. It's a straight eight engine, like I say, with a supercharge uh, intake. The engine itself has this detail on the, on the cam covers and the engine block they, call, they refer to it as scrapings. And what it is, it's hand done, hand tooled uh, with a small tool to get this little irregular shape, literally to make the engine more beautiful. The other feature in the engine bay is the dash. And they call that a turning. The dash is aluminum. They literally have a little tool and they spin that and create these little circles. And it creates a more beautiful appearance. Bugatti came from a family of artists. They were, he was the, the engine or the, the automotive person in the family. The rest of the family was artists, but he, get, he had some of that artistic talent, if you would, to make his cars beautiful. Um, the other thing that I think is really interesting about this car being lowered, the exhaust system that comes out of that straight eight is a three inch exhaust system, but when it turns and goes under the car, they flatten down the exhaust system and convert it into five one inch pipes. The reason they do that is not to look cool, they did it for ground clearance. So instead of having a big pipe coming out, you've got a smaller diameter pipe which gives you approximately two inches of additional clearance to the ground of the car. There's no trunk in the car, the spare tires underneath this cover, fuel fillers back here. There's a small compartment behind the seats and that's where you can stow some luggage. But let's face it, this car was really not made to go to work. This car was made to be a competitive performance race car. The engine produced 200 horsepower, the suspension was lowered, and the driver has is positioned on the right side of the car. That doesn't make sense for a French car because French cars, they were on the left side of the car, but when they built these cars, they were intended to be competitive. And to be competition, to be a competitive car in Europe, where the track goes clockwise, you want the driver on the inside of the turn. And that's why these cars were done this way. So that's our 1937 57S Bugatti with the Gangloff body.